you'll see how the pelvis in space moves this way. Yeah, kind of that like 45 yeah. degree space. Exactly, so it moved into depth because all that it did is drop. It's not because I'm just shoving my booty back. Yeah, it's not a hinge. Right, and I'm not just sliding my butt down a wall. I'm just dropping like if I were just gonna fall into a seat. Okay, here we go. We're out in sunny, beautiful AZ. It's sunny. It's sunny. <laughs> it's sunny. Dude, it's like 115 today. 40% humidity. Oh welcome. Gosh. Welcome yes. to the oven. Well, welcome to the show. Yeah. Out here with Alex Trevino, one of our awesome, awesome coaches in AZ. You've probably seen uh, seen him on our Instagram. He, he, he throws up some awesome posts. Go to his page as well. What's your... Uh, what's Alex your... J. Trevino. Alex J. Trevino. Yep. If you want to check out Alex and, and more of his stuff, then definitely follow him uh, on his Insta. But um, really pumped to get rocking with you, dude. Yeah. We've been talking about this for a little while. But what do we want to talk about today, homie? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that has my eye is the pelvis. Because you hear tons of things with mm -hmm. the pelvis. What's it do? What's it not do? How does it work? That's going to be an awesome, awesome video for us today. Let's, uh, let's start this off. I know you're cold. Just hit one for us. Yeah. If you could. Yeah, let me put a glove on. So <clears throat> glove up. Toss this thing a country mile. Yeah, baby, let's send. Cool, so we're just going stock out 7-iron right mm -hmm. here. Awesome. So the reason I want you just to hit one, other than just showing off your freaking awesome move, <laughs> uh, is I'd love you to just, as the athlete, more or less explain kind of what you're sensing in your action when yeah. it comes to like the middle of you. Yeah. Right, what's going on in the pelvis and the hips. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so to me, the pelvis is responding to what the upper is doing. Okay. And then in transition, I feel pressure moving lead side, but as well as more in the heels. Okay. And then from there, I feel it opening and getting around to the left. Yes, that's awesome. So what's interesting, like, in golf instruction is these phrases or terms or feels or anatomical phrases even that guys toss out are just incorrect. And so when somebody goes hip rotation, for instance, hip rotation, what we're actually trying to articulate is pelvic rotation, yeah. how we're turning. Yeah, right? what's the pelvic like doing? Hip rotation is this stuff. This is hip rotation. Yeah, like when you're doing those hip circles in the morning stretch. Exactly, exactly. So hip rotation is just a joint. Yeah. Right? You got the femur that sticks up into the pelvis and that's bang. So how it's rotating in here, that's all hip rotation. When we're looking at the golf swing, what we're really seeing in the middle is pelvic rotation. Yes. Yes, yes, exactly. Which is really, really important to see. And the system that we love talking about just from like a global perspective is this idea of flexion rotation. Whenever we're saying flexion, we're talking about the angle that the femur and the and the spine really have mm -hmm. with one another, and obviously the pelvis as well. But that would be pelvic or hip, excuse me, hip flexion. And the rotation comes from like the spirals in the chest and how we're moving the ribs around, blah, blah, blah. So when looking at like how we're moving the pelvis and why it moves in space, we often talk about either like active or passive movement yeah. or activity. So what you just explained is beautiful, Alex, because you're talking about an active movement coming from like the upper spiral or the chest or the ribs or the thoracic region, and then the pelvis responds to that. So if you go in here and set up again for us, dude, yeah, and show us that same like move up into P4, so you'll notice how if we just trace this right hip socket, yeah, it worked towards me. Yes. Right? Yes. It's working in this space here. Yes. Okay, great. So if you set up again, what we'll sometimes see that's that's inappropriate, go ahead and start actively rotating the pelvis. There you go. Okay, so what that does is it slacks out the spirals and it whacks out the whole system. Yeah. And Kyle, our awesome strength and conditioning coordinator down here, talks about dissociation with a lot of our athletes. What's dissociation, by the way? Yeah, dissociation is whether if you're focusing upper or lower, but one of them is moving while the other one is essentially being stable. So that's where they are disassociating, whether yep. it's upper to lower or lower to upper. You got yep. feeling that stretch. Yeah, exactly. So we've got dissociating the pelvis or we've got dissociating the rib. Correct. Right? So it's super important because we'll see a lot of people because of this like inappropriate map in their mind because they're trying to have, with all the information that we throw out there, we want to see this is the main engine 
and the arms almost respond to that, but people will cheat. Kind of that fake turn. Mm -hmm. They go, exactly. oh, it's getting open, but like a big thing I'll pick up, especially in the virtual space is, you know, in general in golf, depth, 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 gotta get it. So they yep. go, okay, but yeah. now this guy locked out and this actually stalls rotation, so now it's with yeah. the arms. And they go, why am I all whacked out? Yeah, it just feels like massively inappropriate, yeah. right? It just, I mean, it's cool because they're trying to do something, but that's, again, we just throw out this term like depth. Yeah, how? Okay, well, you can get deep with a lot of different lot things. Of you can throw your hands back there, they're deep. You could rotate the chest, it can get deep. You could rotate the pelvis, depth, depth, depth. It's just a false, term. it's like just a word that doesn't yeah, really correlate to It's just gotta to be anything. better defined, like what exactly in depth are we looking for? Like, at least in our realm, because it's, it's different for everybody. That's such a good point. So, by kind of going down this rabbit hole, the pelvis, the only active thing we're looking for the pelvis to do within our system is to drop. So we're moving into hip flexion. And the importance of drop, like if you go in here again and set up for us, dude, and don't even show a backswing, just yeah. go ahead and show drop. You'll see how the pelvis in space moves this way. Yeah, kind of that like 45 yeah. degree space. Exactly, so it moved into depth because all that it did is drop. It's not because I'm just shoving my booty back. Yeah, it's not a hinge. Right, and I'm not just sliding my butt down a wall. I'm just dropping like if I were just gonna fall into a seat. Yes. Right, that's all it is. So it's not this like massively complex thing, but we see it lower obviously and work away from this space mm -hmm. where the golf ball is to me. Yes. So if I'm dropping, I'm moving the pelvis away from this space. Yes. Massively important. That also pairs really well with the spiral line and how the spiral is working up, back, and away into this space as well. It's working away from you. Yeah. So you could think of the golf swing like super simple in that the spiral leads. So if you go ahead and show that, good. There's the upper spiral. Now we would drop, good. And now we're gonna spiral out into finish. That's the main engine. But you have to be aware of it, right? Yeah. And that's what creates this awesome opportunity for proper depth. Yes. Active rotator, active dropper. Also, in regards to the pelvis, let's talk about the femurs. So this is leg action. So we'll go back into hip rotation. Yeah. So if we follow the spiral line, and I'm pulling this upper spiral, upper spiral, upper spiral, what's actually happening, and this is trippy, this knee is pointing on this angle. So this is 90 degrees, is yeah. a little bit more over here. And as I turn, the upper spiral, it pulls on the pelvis eventually, and now this kneecap, the patella, is pointing out this direction. So it looks like it's internal rotation. Yeah. But it's not. Because the pelvis, like the, the difference between how far, like where my pelvis is pointing, like perpendicular yeah. here, to the kneecap, as I turn, 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 look at how much more this has moved, like this space is Correct. widened. External. Yeah, they didn't follow each other proportionally. Exactly. This one moved external, this one moved internal because of the active rotation, well, it's passive rotation in the pelvis, but the pelvis rotated, and so the legs respond to that. Yeah. But what's really important here, and you just brought this up, which is a really, really key piece, is we, we love this idea of people being able to rotate through the strike, meaning the chest is rotating. Well, we're rotating through the strike. So that means from like this P5-ish phase all the way through P9, we're rotating. But until I get to P5, I'm not. I need to stay in this space over here. And so if we follow the spiral line, like just in, in gate patterns, you can do this with me, Alex. Yeah. So if we just take a step towards the camera here, okay. with, yep, we'll go boom with this left foot. Okay. This spiral that goes underneath this, this like lead armpit for us is gonna start to pull, 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 pull. And that's what's dragging this hip socket towards the target to drag the foot. There yeah. you go. And so that spiral, the lower spiral goes down the IT band, which is the outer portion of your leg. And so as you're pulling, 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 eventually there goes the heel. See how this heel gets spun away yeah. that direction? Yeah, the more I pull, the more it would The more it that. spins, exactly. Yeah. Now let's go back here again. Okay, step with the other foot. Boom, okay. Now, from there, as you start to pull, 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 see where that heel got tossed? Yeah. Gets tossed away. Okay, so remember that thought. Yeah. Okay, go back, go to like neutral address for, uh, for golf posture. So start pulling, 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 pulling. Okay, 
Where's that heel gonna get tossed? If I keep going, it's gonna want to there at you some go. point. Good. And so now as you recenter, boom, into P5. Yep. See how you're still in this space? Yeah. So the femur, what's going on here, is it is moved into a space where it's working external, but it tosses the heel away. But the shape that the femur is in, right here, we're not going to actively start to rotate this away. That's a big thing I see. Everyone's Huge like, thing. Sneed drill, yeah, right? You well, drop the bucket. Yeah. Well, that is an active dual external action with the femurs, which is like an extremely weak. You slack out the spiral line, the whole bit just goes to pot. Yeah, it's hard to turn with, these guys won't turn whether it's passive or active, and it's like, exactly. <laughs> Save so, it. yeah, like a lot, <laughs> like Tiger sold face, didn't activate my glutes, and everybody makes fun of him for it. Well, he's extremely correct, but what he's really talking about is the spiral line, which goes down glute med and kind of into like, comes back up into glute max actually, and up through you. So like your glute, like the whole complex is part of the fricking spiral line. Yeah, you gotta use them. Exactly, so as soon as you do this, you slack out the spiral line, no more glutes. So what do I end up doing? Extend, throw, blah, 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 just as a whack system. Yeah, it's kind of like there's matchups with the body and it's like, I think it's like glute abs or like hamstrings back. Exactly. And a, the hamstrings back is more like the extension, glute core is more of that flexion and allows you to rotate. You and like you're saying, if it gets slacked out, yep. this shuts off or yep. doesn't activate. So then it's like, okay, yeah. this, this is all I have left. Yeah, and you're talking about like front chain compared to back chain dominance, right? And we wanna be in back chain for as long as we possibly can because we're stay, we stay dropped in. We stay active into the spiral. Yeah. Okay, so the purpose of this exercise is to look at, all right, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. There goes the heel. As I plant, there's the recenter because my, my rib system, we call it rib sway. We're dropping here at the same time. Boom, I'm back into the space where I'm into the lead side. But this femur shape, the rotation that it has here has been external for a heck of a lot of time because of the shape of the spiral. As I drop in and now I bounce into the other spiral, now I'm working into internal rotation. Yeah, you're turning into that femur, correct? Yes, so the pelvis, because the upper spiral is pulling it, is now being rotated into this femur space. Yeah. So if you do that, like folks at home, you do this, you'll feel your whole oh, rump. You're lighting up. Load like a mother and in an appropriate way where it's yeah. like, oh, Didn't I feel something. Before. It's like super duper stable. Yeah. Like people will have that response, which is like massively important. We have to have that, especially if we're looking to hit something. Like if I'm looking to hit something hard here, I can't just slack out the spiral because of just tossing this inappropriately external. I got nothing. Yeah. So that's why people extend, because at least I can like shoot energy this way. Whereas if I'm here, boom, now I can turn and hit. So like if we just follow spirals or second global law, you'll start to see that the heels, the only thing that they do is they get tossed away. Yeah. That alone, that picture alone automatically affects the pelvis. We hear it a lot from a lot of the players that come in and we're, we're lucky enough to work with them where they go, I want a more rotational golf swing. Well, you need to define where the rotation is coming yeah. from. What's that mean? The rotation's in here. You guys have some nuggets to chew on, baby. That was awesome. That was awesome. Work your pelvis really well, understanding what it does actively, understanding what it does passively, how the legs, how the feet fit into that system. Great maps. Great wraps.